Oh, yeah, in fact, would you like to experience it right now? Um, the, the, the power of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. <laughs> Hold out your hands like this. I'm just going to touch your hands in Jordan. I believe the Holy Ghost is going to touch you. In the name of Jesus, as a sign and a wonder unto Jordan, Holy Spirit, when I touch his hands, Holy Spirit, just fall upon him. When I count the three, in the name of Jesus, three, two, one, in Jesus' name, touch him right now. Holy Spirit, touch Jordan. Let the fire of God fall upon Jordan right now. Fire of God fall upon him. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet, inside of his belly, let the fire of God fall upon him. In Jesus' name, amen. Joshua and we're gonna see God touch some people amen this is gonna be amazing whoever comes by our path Pray for people, we see people get healed instantly of all types of pain or anything like that. Anything? Can you hear my diabetes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have any symptoms of it right now? Like I, um, type one, yes. Okay. Type one. So yeah. what? I know you have to certain things with the doctors and things like that, and it's blood yeah, I'm sugar insulin, and things. Insulin um, but um, is it any symptoms of it that you that you could notice of it right now, or it's you, that you would have to? Yeah, lightheadedness. You feel it right now? All right. Can I pray for you? Yeah. All right. Let me see your hand. What's your name? Raphael. Raphael. I'm going to pray for you, and, and, and you're going to feel something happen, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. And we pray in Jesus' name, because Jesus did this 2,000 years ago, and people don't understand that he's still doing it today. Okay. So in the that name of Jesus, good. we pray for Raphael right now, that Holy Amen. Spirit that you reverse the diabetes in the name of Jesus, restore every blood cell, every molecule, every fiber of his being. In the name of Jesus, I declare he is healed right now. Total and complete healing right now. So Holy Spirit, just begin to fall over his head, down through his spine, down his legs, out through his feet. Lightheadedness, go right now. I declare he is healed in the name of Jesus, we pray. Diabetes, go right now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So how, how do you feel? Man, how's the lightheadedness? Is it still there? Is it feel the same? Do you feel different? I feel more calm. Yeah. Do you feel calm? Yeah. Yeah, that's the presence of God that just, that just has come over you. And I, I believe that's just... Because that. we've seen, me and my brother Josh here, we've seen all types of things. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We've seen tumors disappear instantly. You know, we travel all over the world and, and nothing surprises me. And so I believe he's doing the work in, 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 in your life right now. Matter of fact, here's our card right here. This is our church. Okay. And um, diabetes, man, that's just the name. And everything must bow to the name of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And do you're you, going to... Do you believe in Jesus? I mean, I have faith. Yeah. Um, I'm a big believer in faith. Like... Well, let me ask you this. A personal experience with Jesus. Have you ever experienced that before? Would you, let me rephrase it, would you like to experience that? Because it'll change your whole life. In fact, I'm even sensing in the spirit that things outside of the diabetes, things that you're dealing with personally, God can fix that, he can restore that. 
I believe you're searching, searching, searching. And what you're really searching for, Raphael, is in Jesus. And you can have a personal experience with him. He will be your best friend that will never leave you nor forsake you. You can have that right here, right now. Would you like that? All right, pray this prayer with me. And you can have that right now. Just pray this prayer with me. Just repeat after me. Say, Jesus. I would like to know you for myself. I would like to know you for myself. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Jesus. Jesus. I receive you now. I receive you now. Amen. 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 Spirit, Amen. Enter into him yeah. right now and give him peace. Yes. Holy Spirit, enter into him right now and give him complete peace all over his body in Jesus' name. Completely heal from head to toe. Thank you very Amen. much. Amen. Yeah, yeah. This is just that. What's and up? also, I have yeah. asthma. You have asthma? Yeah. Does it? Does it? Let me let me tell you this one story. We were out at Venice Beach a couple weeks ago. A young young boy, kind of like your age, had I, uh, asthma. I used to have asthma too. Was really <laughs> yeah. So this guy, he couldn't really breathe in and out. We prayed for him. Totally healed instantly. Total and complete healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now take a deep breath in. Breathe in. Do it one more time. One more time. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, he can do it now. Thank you so much. I'm going to pray for you right now. And God's going to touch you. Let me see your hand. All right. What's your name? Devin. Devin. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, touch Devin's lungs right now. Just like you healed the young boy a couple weeks ago of asthma, and like you healed Joshua of asthma. Touch him right now in the name of Jesus. Healing begin right now in Jesus' name. Devin, I want you to do this. Take a deep breath in. Do it one more time. Amen. He's just healed you. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. amen. What, what, happened, what happened to your thumb, man? Oh, man, I, I sliced myself at work. Really? Uh, a little bit. It was, it was got a couple of stitches on this, so I'm all good. Like, can, it, can I pray for it? Oh, uh, hey, yeah. you know what, brother? Hey, I like pain. Hey, do you have pain? In it? Like, can you feel pain right oh, now? Oh, I mean, just, nah, I mean, a little bit. But, uh, yeah. but you want to pray for my thumb? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, Dude, man, it's, it's no limit on what God wow. can do. That's watch great. this, watch this. Okay, let me, what's your name, man? Gover. Gover. Yeah. I'm Troy. It's Joshua. That's me, she's Josh. Amen. Let me just touch your hand. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, touch Gopher's thumb right now. Supernatural, heal him, rapid recovery. In the name of Jesus, I speak to it. I speak to it, and I say it is healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Receive the healing flow right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, press on it, yeah, press on it, man. Does it feel the same? Does it feel better? Is, it, is something it feel, going on? Feel a little better. Feel a little better? Yeah. Yeah, it's rapid recovery. How you doing? Would you like a, a bottle of water, man? Uh -huh. There you go. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Jesus God bless, bless you, man. man. Okay, I want to share this really quick. While we were praying for this last guy, a guy started manifesting demons totally out of his mind. And so Alberto went over there to pray for the guy and totally got delivered. Look at him right now.
Jesus, take this pain away now. Spirit of pain, leave him in Jesus' name. Do it again. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, you yeah, let me. God bless, God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Troy, he's gonna pray for you right now. Okay, Thank so it's, what, what is what's happening? Over there, uh, in the back. Pain in the back. Yeah. Okay. All right. On his face and the uh, left, left okay. face. Okay. Left side. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we pray for this brother right now, that all the pain would go, that it would leave him, that it would leave his body right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray that it would just, there it is, it's moving up out, going up the back. In the name of Jesus, that the pain would totally leave you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now go ahead and twist it, twist it. Yeah. Is it better? Okay, easy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, little bit. Not so much, a little bit, yeah. Let's go little again. Bit. Let's go again. Yeah. Maybe. Thank you, Jesus, for healing his back right now. We thank you for it feeling a little bit better. But right now, we want it all healed. 100% healing right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that it goes right now. Right now. Down to zero. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Try it out now. In Jesus' name, I command all the pain to go now. Be healed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Look, 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 look. look at his look at his look at his hand. Look at the yeah. goosebumps he has on his hand. Yeah. Man. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Watch this. Come over here on the front. Good night. God bless you. So, this brother right now, he says he's got pain. Where do you have pain, my friend? I feel like I'm sick. I feel like you're sick. Other than that, physical pain, you have pain. Okay, so like it's like flu-like symptoms, like that. Like super hot. Super hot. Has other things to do with it too, but. You know We're not saying? even concerned with yeah. that right now. We yeah. just want to see you healed yeah, right yeah. now. And yeah. see, the power of Jesus is stronger than anything that, that you could be troubling it's you right like now. It's like pain where I feel it. It affects my body where I can't function because I feel it. makes you weak wrong. and I strength and everything. Throw up. Hold, hold out your hands like this. I swear, I'm not going to lie to you. Come to the right place. Yeah, yeah, hold hold out bad. your hands. Hold out your hands. Easy. What's yeah. your name? David. David. Yeah. I'm Troy, Alberto, Joshua. In the name of Jesus, when I touch, just, just totally relax, totally relax. In the name of Jesus, when I touch David right now, that the, the sickness and what's sapping his strength and the energy, I command it to go right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, total healing, that the strength would return to David right now. I cancel that assignment in the name of Jesus. That spirit of infirmity, you must leave David right now. And strength, peace, and joy come over David, even right now, while I'm speaking these words from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. He is healed right now. Spirit, go in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So how do you feel, man? You feel the I feel same? Like I just woke up right now. I just, like I just woke up like I was sleeping, I swear. Yeah. And not like a phase, but it's just like I just woke up like... Yeah. Do me a favor, bro. No, no. Walk over to that plant and come back and, and, and feel yourself out and, and, and tell us how you feel all the way around. <laughs> you said you don't feel hot or heavy or anything like that anymore. Yeah. Can, can I tell you what just happened? No. Now you were being, you might not even realize this, but you were being troubled and tormented by evil spirits. And the power of Jesus removed them out of you. And so, David, what you're feeling right now, you're probably feeling peace and all uh, that, yeah. too. You can have this all the time. This experience that you're feeling right now with Jesus, you can have this 24 hours a day. Would you like to receive that? Would you like to experience like, uh, Jesus yeah, on, a, on a full scale? Would yeah, you like that yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. yeah pr pray this prayer with me. Say, say Jesus. Jesus. 
Come into my heart right now. Come into my heart right now. I receive you right now. I receive you right now. I give you my life. I give you my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, David. That it's true, so you're gonna scale from zero to 100. 100 just like if I drop this, it'll fall. I believe this with all my heart. All my heart. 100%. 100%. 100 all my heart. And you you're like, you could not be mistaken about this whatsoever. Nah, nah, I've seen way too much. Convince mm -hmm. But if for some reason you were convinced that stuff like this was not a reliable way to come to this belief, would that change your confidence about this at all? In which way? Like how, how, what, what would be the counter argument, would you say? I don't know. Like anything to your satisfaction that could convince you. I don't even, I don't even know what that could be. But it, no, like it'd almost be like saying, my name is Troy. It's like you saying, my name's not Troy. Like I, like I know my name is Troy. So I've seen too many things happen for me to, 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 to question it. What's your name, by the way? Reed. Reed. I'm Troy. This is my man Joshua. Hey, how are you doing, Joshua? Nice to meet you. Yeah. He's asking me. I love it. He's asking me questions. Like, how do you know that this is true? Oh, amen. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I've seen too much, man. I've seen yeah. way too much. So seeing all these examples give you, gives you confidence. But... Over years and years, and at least once a day, maybe I see some supernatural thing happen at least once I, a day. I I just met Troy probably, I don't know, I would say like five or six months ago, right? And uh, one of my friends, he, uh, she was going to his church and she was like, hey, you know, I feel like you should just come to this church with me, kind of like hang out, check it out, see what it is. I'm a new Christian. I came to Christ two years ago, right? And so, um, sorry. And so I, I went to the church, right? And then afterwards, Lynn brought me up to introduce me to Troy. And I was just like, hey, how you doing, Troy? Nice to meet you. No joke. No joke. Troy just steps back, and he just waits for a second, and he goes, God wants me to tell you this. I am not kidding you. He told me exactly what I had been doing for weeks. Exactly what I had been praying for. He said, God wants me to tell you that all of the... God said you too. I just think that's really funny. He said, he said, God is telling me to tell you that God sees you watching all of those YouTube videos. God sees you uh, praying and wanting to uh, do the same things and heal people. He's going to begin to work mightily in your life. Like he literally told me secrets about myself that I, that I, ne I just met this guy, right? But that's the power of God, you know what I mean? He knows the hearts of me. He knows the heart of you. And, and you know, when when we step out in the faith and we allow him to flow, it's, dude, it's incredible. So I just wanted to give you that testimony. It was just amazing. I was just Ooh. blown away, dude. I started crying. Yeah, he fell on the ground I and everything. fell on the ground. <laughs> so you're saying? It was awesome. When you met him, he gave you, like, he That's what I was talking about before, about prophecy. He a description of, like, yourself, man. He, he told me everything anything. that I was doing, all the things that I had been doing in secret, I had not told anyone about. It was pretty nuts. It was awesome. Yeah. But you feel, how do I even describe, you, you feel something come over you. And so yeah. that's what we call the presence of God. And, and if, if like two other people came up to us giving like a very similar story where someone came up to this other they're like other pastor from another religion, mm -hmm. saying they felt the presence of God in their interactions. Would that be a reliable way to come to that belief? 